Hey yo, and welcome to Gallows Corner. Welcome to the vlog. Now, I'm sorry if I don't seem quite as enthusiastic about the vlog as I normally do. Um, I've already had plans today. I'd already filmed the whole introduction for another video. I was meant to be doing today my 300k special. Uh, you guys wanted me to vlog for a day with a toaster. Uh, I've chosen the toaster, named it, well, give it a provisional name, Tabby Toaster. Um, Tabitha. I decided to give him like a female personality if I'm going to spend a day with her. Um, so I think I'm going to call her Tabitha. Although, do leave your suggestions down below if you can think of a better name. Um, anyway, I was literally in the process of planning my day. I was trying to book a visit to the zoo. I was going to take her there, take her out for something to eat afterwards. Um, and then I got a phone call from my great aunt Sylvia, unfortunately. Now, she is a bit of a battle axe, and I know why she's phoning me, because none of the rest of the family will pick up to her anymore, because they know they're just going to get dragged into something. But unfortunately, stupidly, I picked up, and I've got dragged into going over there and fixing her bloody fence. Um, we've had loads of storms here, you've probably had them too, and part of her fence has collapsed, and she's freaking out that her dog's going to escape. I mean, I don't see the issue, to be honest with you. The dog is a dickhead. Uh, he's called Tommy, he's a cavalier King Charles, and he stinks, like... He's got weird little Tommy. If he eats anything apart from a tiny bowl of chappy each day, and I'm talking about anything, even just a tiny, minuscule shard of a crisp or something, he starts farting and pooping uncontrollably. It's disgusting. And um, personality-wise, he's massively lacking as well. He's really weird about his disgusting ears. Uh, he wants you to stroke him. He comes up and makes you stroke him, touch his head. But if your hand, like even inadvertently, like brushes his ear, he goes rrr, 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 growly and bitey and stuff. I don't want to touch your ears, mate. I don't want to touch you, but you just get lost. You know, if he did escape, you could just follow your nose and find him, or even follow your ears, and you'd probably hear some child crying as he backs him in the corner, forcing them to stroke him and then biting them. Like he's a dickhead. But that's that's what's happened, basically. Now. We're going to have to leave the toaster vlog because I've got to go all the way over to Knighton and go fix a body fence, which isn't what I wanted to do today, but we're going to roll with it. I've only just moved here, I guess. It's probably my turn to get a bit more involved with that side of the family. So that's what I'm going to go and do today, which is annoying, but at least we can do a normal vlog. Yeah. Okay, let's get moving. Uh, I know I'm being a bit woe is me today, but this is winding me up. I've just realised that my brand new phone just taking it out of the tripod. That tripod's bloody smashed it. Unbelievable. I am proper, proper eggy today. Nothing is going bloody right. I just got back and that has been a massive, massive waste of the day, right? First off, it took me over two hours and two different bosses to get there. The Isle of Wight bosses are just a massive, massive bag of arse, right? Got a taxi back in the end because I didn't want to waste any more of my bloody day, right? Anyway, I get there and before I've gone, two things were discussed, right? Number one, she was going to give me lunch. She promised me that. Number two, I didn't need to take any tools because she had the tools that I'd need, she told me, right? Anyway, I get there. She takes me out to her garden, shows me the fence panel. Right? It is totally had it. It's gone rotten. The structural bits around the side are rotten and it, the screws have popped out. So it's lost all its kind of tension. All the slats have gone. I'm telling you, like, that's, that's had it now. You need to get a new fence panel. Right? Even Luke online. You can buy one for less than 40 quid, but no, she's not having it. She, she insistent that she's not spending the money on it, that I can fix it and stuff. So reluctantly, I'm like, all right, I'll have a go at it. Can, can I have the tools, please? So she goes inside and she comes back out with a single screwdriver. I'm like, what, what is this? I, have you got a drill? I want to drill little pilot holes. The wood's rotten. It's just going to split if I force a screw through. No. What she's got is this one single screwdriver, which upon me starting to use it, it quickly becomes apparent has come from like the pound shop. It's really cheap metal, it's all soft, it's unusable. And after a few screws, I'm just having to jam it in as hard as I can, using all my strength like, just to keep it in the right slot. So I, I, my arm and my right hand is all numb now. It's gonna make for a lonely night, isn't it? But that doesn't matter, does it? Anyway, that, I'm doing this, it's taking me bloody hours and the whole way through, She's like holding it above my head, this whole lunch thing. We've got to burn your lunch, got to work hard, earn your lunch. And anyway, the lunch eventually materialises and it's half a plain cheese sandwich. Half? I'm six foot five. I can't sustain myself on half a bloody sandwich. We shared a cheese sandwich. Taking me hours. I eventually get it back in. It's rubbish. It's not going to hold. I've told her that, but she's having none of it. Got a taxi home because I'm starving and I haven't had time to do a shop. I thought I was going out vlogging with the toaster today, so I've got no food in. I'm just trying to get my strength back up with some peanuts now. I've got myself a mint club as well, which I'm going to eat in a moment. I've got, I'm going over to Newport. I'm going to stream early tonight and I'm going to get the Maccas on the way to cheer myself up because today has just been arse. 
Alright, I'm now in Newport. Maggie D's has been consumed. I'm literally just about to stream. But I just wanted to share something with you quickly um, about my bus journey over here because it was absolutely horrific, alright? So, I get on the bus. Everything's normal for the first half of the journey. But after about 20 minutes or so, uh, two teenage lads and a lady get on, right? Come and sit in front of me. And after a couple of minutes, the teenage lads, they recognise me. Um, had a lovely chat. Turns out they've, like, regularly watched my videos and stuff, did selfies with them. All of that was awesome, right? But unfortunately, there's this middle-aged couple who's sitting right behind me. And the kind of exchange between me and the lads has given them the false impression that I'm, like, an, an actual famous person. And then they're like, like, oh, like, who are you? How do they recognise you? What do you do? And that's quite an awkward conversation like, like, to explain to a, like, random middle-aged people. Like, oh, yeah, a few hundred thousand people sucked me on YouTube to laugh at my head kind of thing. Like, that's not an easy conversation. Anyway, I, I can't persuade them that I'm not actually a famous person. And they end up asking me to do this video for their daughter. A uh, whole thing was quite awkward because they've got no idea who I am. And I know that they're going to show this video to their daughter when they get home. And she's just going to be like, who's that random bloke on the bus? I don't know him. I've never... Like, recognise him kind of thing. So, that's all pretty awkward, but we do it, right? Anyway, uh, in the time we've done this, one of the teenage lads in front of me, um, he's gone and sat, well, laid down, kind of at the front of the bus. Um, the whole journey, he's been chugging on an energy drink, right? And it's obviously, it's done something to his tummy, um, poor lad. And he starts, he starts, like, uncontrollably vomiting, all right? And and because of what he's been consuming, it's it's a very liquid vomit, all right? And we're going up and down over these hills and stuff. And basically, we've got this kind of a twisted tidal wave of liquid vomit just flowing up and down to the front and back of the bus. People lifting up their feet so it doesn't touch it and stuff. I mean, first up, poor lad. He must have been absolutely mortified. And second up, you know, poor us. We're in quite an enclosed space. Vomit does have a very pungent smell. Um, I mean, it, if I'm being honest, it was pretty horrific. I've never been so thankful for my face mask. Um, I mean, actually, it almost put me off my McDonald's. I, all I could do just to scrap it down. Yeah, that, I've got to do something about this. Bosses are just absolute arse. All right, okay. I just thought I'd share that with you because it was pretty horrific. I'm going to go stream now. I'm playing full guys. I'm hoping that tonight we're going to turn this day around and I'm going to get my first win. Good morning to you. Right, hopefully you are all doing well. Uh, I've had a bit of kerfuffle and confusion today and I had some plans for today. Uh, don't know whether you can see, I've got massive bags under my eyes. Recently, I've been staying up dead late playing and streaming Fall Guys, just kind of relentlessly driving towards that first win. Uh, not arrived there yet, but it will come. Um, anyway, I decided that today it was time to have an evening off, leave the streams and just kind of have a bit of rest and recuperation. I was going to watch the Champions League final and stuff. Uh, so, woke up, checked out what time it kicks off, and I'm an idiot. It's not till tomorrow. So, it leaves us with nothing to do today, but I think I'm still going to try and relax a bit. Um, just gone up to the co-op to get some supplies in, some food and stuff, and I've ended up buying a bottle of Jack Daniels. Um, not very sure of the thinking behind that. I just kind of thought that, uh, well, I haven't got drunk since I moved into the new house. got nothing to do today, so... Um, let's have a little drink and see where it goes. I might end up doing a little drunk stream, a little walk with Lenny or something. Who knows? Possibilities are endless. So that's the thread we're going to be pulling out today, and I will kind of report in regularly. All right, I'm going to go and get some food inside me now. Um, for those of you who are interested, you may be able to see just behind me uh, part of my toaster collection. Uh, just a nice little hello for you. Kind of a subtle flex, I guess. Well, there we go. All right, I am having an Excellent afternoon. Uh, I'm on my fourth JD in Coke now, um, and I've found the perfect accompaniment for them. Uh, I've got a big bag of salted pistachios I bought the other day, um, and they're literally going down sweet as a nut alongside the JD, so that's enjoyable. Um, for entertainment, I am watching classic disaster movies. I've watched all of um, Deep Impact so far, and I'm about halfway through Volcano now. Sadly, I have to watch them on my laptop because my TV broke in my move, but even that's not the end of the world. I mean, at least it's legitimate now that I haven't got a TV licence. Um, also, for amusement, I do get a little bit playful when I've had a few drinks. Um, I have been Googling pictures, just various pictures of bacon sandwiches, and then just sending those images via WhatsApp to my sister Amy. Um, it's not like she's not Muslim, don't worry. It's not a hate crime. She's just a vegan, so it's well-deserved. I mean, there's no kind of reaction for me sending these, but WhatsApp has told me that she's seen them, and I'm not greedy, to be honest with you. That's enough for me, just knowing that I might have sport her day in some small way. Um, yeah, that's enough. I'm loving life. Right, number five. 
A or right, hopefully you guys are good. Um, I'm doing awesome, I'm in a really good mood. Uh, unfortunately though, I've finished my JD, uh, but I've had an idea. I keep hearing through the window, very frankly, the sounds of the village pub. Uh, all of my neighbours did say earlier they were going to be up there, so I've decided to go. They'll have more JD, and who knows what could happen, you know. I feel like the light, I feel like, I feel like, I feel like the night is alive with possibilities. Yeah, so I'm going to take Lenny up there. Um, it'll give me like a conversation piece if there's any nice ladies there. Hopefully it attracts them. I think it's, it's a foolproof plan. Uh, I don't even know whether you can see me, it's proper dark now, but um, I'm going to venture into the body pub, Dutch courage and all that, I feel ready. Um, I fall along. The best wingman possible, really. Lady, it's your time to shine. Hey, up and good morning to all of you. Um, I, I'm going to have to take this little update quite slow and gently. I am very, very hungover this morning. Um, you'll have to excuse the hood. I've just got back from the co-op, just having a little lunge on my chaise now to recover. Uh, it just felt like out the sun, the, uh, the sun was penetrating my soul through my head. So, you know, the hood felt necessary. I know it makes me look a bit like Lord Voldemort, but... At least it's a sexually satisfied Lord Voldemort this morning. Yeah, last night was amazing. Absolutely amazing. So I went to the village pub after finishing all my Jack Daniels. I was hoping to meet one of my neighbours there so I knew some people, but there was no one in there that I recognised. It was massively awkward at first, just kind of playing on my phone, trying to feel like less of a loner sitting on my own. But Lenny was, it was just the best idea to take him. He's like an incredible icebreaker. Everyone loves him. He's so friendly. He's up trying to get people to meet him and stuff. Um, anyway, there was one lady who just absolutely loved him. Um, like a couple of times she walked past and stroked him and stuff. Uh, but by the end of the night, she was just there continuously stroking him, you know, we're chatting and stuff. I mentioned that he does, I've got a couple of tricks that I've taught him. And I said, you know, only well, live around the corner. I can come show you them if you want. She was up for it. And that was not the only thing she was up for. Yes! Oh, damn, that hurt my head. Oh, and the light hurts. Oh, I'm just going to have to deal with it. I'm going to have to wake up properly at some point. But yeah, it was incredible. I mean, not so much the actual act of Boom Boom. Well, not the Boom Boom itself. Just the act of having Boom Boom after nine months or a year or however long it's, I've been driving for. It was just such a weight off my shoulders, off my whole very soul. I just feel like a man renewed. Absolutely incredible. Um, I mean, some disappointment. It's obviously, it, it's not going to be a relationship. Once I've sobered up this morning, um, I mean, I don't want to say too much because lots of people in the village know that I do YouTube now and I wouldn't want it to get back to her, but there was just some issues with annoyance in that how much she annoyed me when I was sober. And it's clear that she felt the same way, judging by how quick she left. So at least there's no awkwardness and I don't really care now anyway. I had boom, boom last night. So happy. So happy. You just fall into these rots where you're not getting it. It just feels incredible. I think that could be like a dam that has burst now. And that could just be the beginning of loads of boom. I'm obviously not with her, but now my confidence is off. Who bloody knows in my own place? Incredible. Lenny is just, he needs rewarding. I'm going to get him a massive bone today just for, just to reward him for helping introduce me, for helping procure the boom boom. He gets a massive bone because I got to use my massive bone last night. Yes. Could not be happier over this. The only, the only cloud on the horizon, well, apart from the massive hangover and delicateness, um, has been this morning when I went to get my fry up stuff. There was a really annoying belligerent woman in there. You know, I'm walking in a bit hungover, but generally in a great mood. And there's this nightmare woman. She's got to be in her 70s or 80s. She's wearing a mask as like a chin protector. Why is it not over your face, love? You know, we're shielding for you. And she's just got no bloody idea. She's pushing up against people two metres. There wasn't even two centimetres between me and her while I'm trying to get the bacon. Just annoys me. Do you know what I mean? Months and months of shielding for these people. Are they worth it? Is a question we've got to ask. You know, obviously, some grandparents and nice older people are worth saving. But people like her, are they worth shielding? It's a question we should all be asking ourselves, I feel. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this video up now because um, I'm not going to do much today. I'm just massively hungover. Maybe I'll do a stream tonight, try and get that first four guys win after my big win last night. I don't know yet. We'll see how I feel. But this is where we're going to end the vlog on this massive, massive high. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please do leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. I just want your honest opinions. And yeah, thanks for watching, I guess.